Let's kill them. Ha ha ha. What's up guys, welcome back to the ROM reviews and in this video I have another ROM that I had reviewed for the past week and the name of the ROM is CR Droid and I got this ROM from one of you guys who messaged me and told me the name of the ROM and so I just went, installed, experienced and then you know like I came up to this point while I tested the ROM over a week and I have some things to share. Keep watching the video and if you're new to this playlist uh, leave the link somewhere here so that you can go and watch the other two videos of the comparison of Evolution X and Pixel Experience so that you can get the idea of how exactly this series goes. I hope you will like this video and also I had a special announcement to make. So last week we actually hit 500 subscribers and I cannot tell how much happy I am to get such a response from every one of you. If you're not yet a part of my channel you can just go ahead and subscribe and I promise you, you will learn something great every day. I mean, not every day, but with every video that would be coming out. So I thought I would have to return the favor by making something special for you. And I'm working on that video, which will be having some announcements as well as some special thing for every one of you who's watching this video. And also second part was that I was planning to make a Q&A. So if in case you are interested in asking me a question, you can go ahead in the comments and drop me a question so that I can pick it up and then show it in my and answer it in my video. With that said, let's not waste more time of yours and get back straight to the video. Welcome to CR Droid Room. For all those people who are excited to try this room, a piece of advice. Please install GApps after installing the room, else you will not be able to access any Google Play services. And this room does not come with that. With that said, the first test that is there in this series is the Blotware's test. So this room has a lot of applications which I am not really a fan of. And I can tell you this thing that after installing GApps, there would be some applications that would be doubled. Like for example, this browser, it's an inbuilt browser. I don't really use this. Then besides that, there is this contacts which I'm not really liking the icon. I don't know why, but I don't like that. Then this file explorer, I'm not really a fan of it either. Then this messaging, after installing gapps I have the Google messages, but this is just there. And similar to that, uh, I think that is pretty much all, but yeah, that's all, but it's still there and I don't really like it. Like they have some installed applications, which you might have to uninstall, like this camera application, let's say. It's a basic camera application without any much features. So why would you have it after you install ANX? So yes, some applications are there installed in this ROM, which after installing the G apps is of no use and which is why you want to get rid of them. And for that, you need to root your device. But that was all for Blotway test. Now let's move on to the next test, which is the smoothness of animation. In this test, we will be seeing how smooth the animation is, the transition to one app to another application is, and the application opening and the closing of the application and everything related to that. So I will open quickly some couple of applications here so as to show you the smoothness. With that, I will just quickly switch between the applications as well. So I have a lot of applications at the moment open, not a lot, but still considerably a lot. I'm on the first application, switching feels easy. And it's good to have a smoothness here because you will not find any kind of lag or jitter anywhere while switching the application. Coming back to the home screen is also smooth and going back to the home screen is again smooth. So in terms of smoothness of animation, you wouldn't find any lag or anything like the app loading time is also good i wouldn't say it's bad and also any application that you open will open up just like that now for the next test features and customization i'll quickly head towards the settings to show what all features and customization options are there but before i do that i will let you know that there are a couple of things that i literally do not like about this application and which I will be telling at the end of the series of all the tests here. So make sure you stick till the end to know what all things you would be getting into yourself if you're actually planning to install this one. With that said, 
all the customization and features are there in CI Droid settings, like all the extra customizations. Rest every feature that you get in Android 10, you will have access to it in this room. And as far as the customization options are concerned, you will get a tons of customization just like Evolution X, way more than Pixel Experience. So you have status bar icons where you can actually click on which all options you want to see on the status bar or you can disable them. Then you can customize clocks, network traffic monitor can be on enabled and disabled, then icons, battery style, battery percentage, brightness control, quick pull down. Then you have second tab called quick settings where you can basically customize about the rows, columns of the tiles that would be there here at this like here this part then you have lock screen where you can actually change the settings in the lock screen like status bar visibility weather conditions displaying charging animation battery information fod icon picker where you can actually select one of the icons that will be used for fingerprint recognition on the lock screen then you have other options as well tap to sleep fingerprint authentication vibration error vibration power menu access in the lock screen which you can get by enabling it I have disabled it for security reasons. Then you have the navigation options. You can enable disable the navigation bar and similarly you can just change the layout of it as well. Then you have the buttons option where you can customize a bunch of buttons options. Like for example you have a power menu button where you can see what all things should appear in the power menu. Then you can end the call with power menu. You can long press the power button on lock screen to turn on the torch automatically turning off the torch after you enabled it on the top option then while taking the screenshot you have the option to either take complete or drag and drop where you can select a specific area then waking up the device by pressing the button answering the call and similar stuff so that was all for features and customization options and there are a tons of options that you would like to play around in the CR Droid settings in CR Droid Pro. Now for the next test, we have the camera test and for that I have already installed the ANX camera on CR Droid Room. I will be sharing you some camera samples in a couple of seconds. So the next test is the battery test and I have a screenshot from two nights ago. My phone's battery at that point was 12% and if you look here, the last charge was 26 hours ago and the screen time is 7 hours and 43 minutes. Now the screen time would not be that great as Evolution X or Pixel Experience but it's still considerably fine. I wouldn't say bad. So in terms of battery and on-screen time, you will get lesser than that of Evolution X and Pixel Experience. And also I noticed one more thing that the charging of the phone in this room also takes more time than usual. Usually my phone gets charged from 0 to 100 in one and a half hours using the standard MI adapter. But in this case, it was taking one hour and 50 minutes. So maybe the charging optimization can be better here. Now for the next test, we have the gaming test, which is the most interesting one. I have received a special request in this video, which was called Free Fire to include. I've downloaded the application here, but for the first game, I will be going for the Call of Duty. So let's see how the gaming experience would be in this room. Okay, so I have the game here ready. I'll quickly go in the settings and see in the audio and graphic settings, what settings are we on at the moment. So the settings are very high, max, NTLizing on and basically the best settings that you can get here. So without wasting time, let's just start a normal game. Deathmatch and start. So far the gaming experience seems to be good. I have a protective case on my phone this time. Let's kill them. <laughs> Shit. I need cover. Shit. 
we won and we won okay to be honest here gaming experience was really good and i can tell from now on that the benchmark scores would also be awesome because literally the device is not even warm even though i have the case on it and it was literally lagless like butter free fire nice thing is the moment you launch a game the gaming mode starts and there you cannot even have any other interruptions coming up on your screen this is the first time that i'm actually playing this game so if i'm not good with it sorry for that so the settings of graphics is ultra then brightness is classic high fps is high shadow is on and high resolution is high besides that i don't think there is much that i can change in graphics i think i'm already good i just started the game it literally is not at all lagging but i think the game's graphic itself is not that much high quality game is running on high graphics and yet the graphics i mean graphics are good but the game itself looks cheap let me know in the comments if you play this game like which gun in this game do you think is the best because i literally have no idea but the phone's temperature at this time is also somewhat fine like it's not that much heating up and i won but frankly speaking the game was actually very smooth in this room and it didn't even feel anything but i think part of the reason was because the game was not that good in the graphics section and the phone is also not heated up so the performance of free fire was awesome as well now coming back to the final test i already ran benchmark scores on this cr droid room and i have the antutu score here and you can see that the score this time is more than pixel experience so these are the numbers that i received while running the benchmark over cr droid rom and if you want to see what the scores were in pixel experience you can see it here on your screen and if you actually want to see the scores of evolution x rom then you can see it here and i think with that you will have a pretty much good idea about what the rom is capable of performing now let's talk about the final verdict while the rom has a lot of features and the performance is also great there are also some plus points on this rom which i didn't find in the last two roms evolution x and pixel experience one was on the lock screen you can get the fingerprint without even having to pick your device up first So that was one thing that I really liked. Another great thing about this room was that the option of getting the call recording feature here. So the moment you dial a number and the person picks up the call, sorry for that. You will have a recording option here built into the box in this room. Most of the rooms don't have this. While here you can just record the call on the way. But those were not the only things. There were a couple of things that I literally didn't like about this room and which is why I wouldn't be sticking to this room. One of them was app freezes. So while using some of the applications I noticed that the application used to just freeze time to time. Like they would not respond at all. And also like suppose I have Play Store open at one time like I noticed this multiple times that the application was just minimizing itself like this. So it used to just minimize itself. which i didn't like the second issue that i was facing was the notification issue so whenever basically someone used to text me and ask me for something i couldn't get the notification which was why i was getting a bit late on my reply and as you can see here as well like it doesn't give the notification on the notification sheet until and unless i actually go out and open the application which is also annoying because i've been missing some important emails as well Now the third thing that I didn't like was the longer charging time. I had to charge my phone literally 
for 30 minutes longer around 20 to 30 minutes longer and i didn't change anything and one more thing was there which i actually forgot if you look here these lights these are called the edges where you can call the google assistants like this but if you look here like even on lock screen the brightness of this little white lines was maximum even though your brightness of the screen is not and i was having this issue for a long time like if i reduce the brightness completely screen is completely dark but you can still see that this white bar still exists in full brightness and they will continue to be there until and unless i open the lock screen and then they will be gone so at night i was having some kind of issues with them because whenever i was opening them i used to have suddenly like bright edges and i didn't really like that either so that was all for the review here now with that note let's just end this video in case you are still interested in testing out the roam i can leave the link in the description so you can go ahead and install it by watching one of my videos that i showed before second thing was if you actually enjoyed watching this content and if you are actually looking forward for the next one press that like button and if you are new to the family press that subscribe as well with that said i will catch you in the next one peace